Hello there. Since then, positive tests have been reported as negative in a private laboratory in England, with fatal consequences, as the study shows. An error in an English laboratory has resulted in the death of 23 people on COVID. An investigation by the official health authority UK Health Security Agency came to this conclusion on Tuesday. A private laboratory at the Immensa Health Clinic in the northern English city of Wolverhampton is responsible for the error. Between September 2nd and October 12th in 2021, the lab classified around 39,000 PCR tests as negative despite being positive. The reason was that the proof from which a test is considered positive was set incorrectly. Most of the incorrect test results affected people in southwest England and Wales. Due to the negative result, the patients refrained from self-isolation. The UK HSA, HSA estimates that each infected two other people on average. And ultimately, with the further infections, that less, this led to 55,000 uh, people becoming infected with corona. And this resulted in 680 hospitalizations and 23 deaths. The UK HSA writes that the NHS Health Authority could not do anything to avoid the error in the private laboratory. The irregularities in the Immensa laboratory were finished in October or ended in October 2021. Patients had received a negative PCR result even though a rapid test, which is more reliable, had previously shown a positive result. The case also reflects badly on the government because at the beginning of the COVID pandemic, they awarded many public contracts to a number of private companies without carefully examining whether they were suitable for this purpose. The Immensa Health Clinic was founded in May 2020 by former management consultant Andrea Riposati. Three months later, the UK Department of Health gave them a £119 million contract for PCR tests. As early as January 2021, there were indications that not everything was right at Imansa. A newspaper reported that employees in the laboratory were drinking alcohol, fighting hand-to-hand, -hand, playing soccer or sleeping. The Department of Health promised to start an investigation, but the private laboratory won another £50 million public contract a few months later. Riposati is also the founder of the Danti Labs PCR testing lab, which has also come under criticism. The laboratory is said to have failed to report test results for travelers in a timely manner or at all. Customer service was also poor. In September, the Competition Authority launched an official investigation into Danti Labs. As early as October 2021, when the laboratory error with the false negative results came to light, COVID expert Christina Pagel said the case points to the problem of opaque awarding of contracts to companies that have little relevant experience. And looking back at this government again. I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.